Uh, came into possession of two later models Zenith 25 inch console color TVs today. Unfortunately, neither one of them are really old enough for my taste, but I thought I'd make a video of them just for the benefit of those of you that like newer stuff. This is a 2001 Zenith console. I think it's a said it was a 25 inch. It's either a 25 or a 27 inch. I'll have to look and see, but one of my classmates from high school that I haven't seen since high school found me through Facebook and sent me a message and wanted to know if I wanted this. Said it belonged to her grandfather and that he was one of those kind of people that he wanted a cabinet model TV and wouldn't have nothing else. So there you go. Well, I guess it's a good thing he got it when he did because I think 2001 was probably the last year that Zenith made a console TV. So let's pull the back off and see what the inside looks like. And here's the back of the TV manufactured June 2001 and it is a 25 inch set. And this set has the input jacks for a DVD player. And here's the insides. As you can see, not much to it. Just a little printed circuit board chassis laying in the, on the bottom of this great big cabinet. Uses a Phillips 25 inch inline CRT, which is a plus because the 90s era Zeniths that used their own Zenith branded tubes were really horrible. These Phillips tubes are a little better. And this tube does look to be in pretty good shape. There's an elderly lady I know who wants a cabinet model TV, so since this one has the inputs for the DVD player and all of that good stuff, I think she's probably going to end up with this one. I am going to replace some capacitors on this chassis that I know to be high failure parts. I want to try to make it as reliable as I can for her. But yeah, this is a far cry from what a Zenith from the 60s or 70s looked like. The older TVs from the 60s and 70s, you had a great big old metal chassis that took up the biggest part of the bottom of the cabinet. Now we have just a little single printed circuit board that takes up very little room. Okay, there's the 2001 Zenith. And I guess the only collector value this set will ever have is being one of the last console TVs ever made, but I really have no desire to hang on to it, so like I said, I think it's going to the elderly lady that I know. Okay, now I'll show you the other Zenith that I got today. And here's the other TV, a 1984 Zenith 25 inch console. I got this one from an older lady who lived in one of those elite gated communities where you have to have a security pass just to get in the place. Kind of got built up on this one. She said she'd been living in the same house for 30 years and she'd had this TV a long time before she moved in her current house. Well, that turned out not to be the case, obviously, since it's a 1984 model that she claimed it was dead, wouldn't do anything. Well, I got it home and it fired up. So now the question is, does the TV have an intermittent problem or did she have a dead power strip? So let's turn it on and see what happens. And it would help if I cut the converter box on. Still not a bad picture for a 28 year old TV. I don't think any new sets will last that long. This TV obviously has the green LED channel readout, power, volume, and channel. And here we have a little flip down door where all our auxiliary controls are. Cabinet's in pretty nice shape. One of the teams playing here today. I mean, it's been multiple. 
Okay, so let's open this one up and see what's on the inside of it. And here's the back of this TV, manufactured June 1984. Nothing special about it, just a mono TV with just a single 75 ohm coax input. So now let's pull the back and see what we've got. Okay, this one has a little bit more to it than the 2001 model, but not much. This one does have a genuine Zenith picture tube, but these were made before Zenith CRT started getting really crappy. I uh, really was never a fan of this chassis. They can be particularly difficult to work on, especially for a dead set condition. This is your 9-181 main board, 9-186 high voltage board. And there's your startup board there on the side. And the video output module. I've seen instances where uh, one board will go bad and cause another board to fail. And, and like I said, I just really wasn't a fan of these particular sets. But this one seems to still be working okay, and I'm also going to do some preventative maintenance on it before I let it go to anybody. There was a capacitor on that startup board that was prone to failure and would cause intermittent problems, as well as some bad solder connections on this main board that, I'm, that were known to cause intermittent problems. So there's our tuner assembly up there. But like I said, I really have no attachment to these TVs. I'm just making a video of them for the benefit of those of you who like this stuff from the 80s and newer. When it comes to Zenith, my interest pretty much ends when the Chroma Color 2 series chassis were phased out. After that, I pretty much lose interest. So there you go, my two recent Zenith console TV finds. Thanks for watching and more to come later.